Hello my lovelies, it is time for another reading vlog, so stay tuned. Funny thing just happened is I was waving to start this vlog. Somebody walked past the front of the car and waved back at me thinking I was waving at them. Uh, we are currently uh, in a different county right now. Xander is here, passed out. Uh, but he has a tennis match and uh, about half an hour. So I'm about to wake him up and get him ready and then uh, this week I'm working mainly on my uh, buzzword I brought my book along it's a tiny dancer it's a nonfiction graphic novel so I've got that uh, I've also been listening to Lady Jane by the Lady Janies and oh my gosh I am loving this book so much it is so much fun it follows Lady Jane Grey and her cousin, King Edward, is, has fallen ill and he puts in his will that he wants her to be queen when he, when he dies. And her heirs will get the throne and all of that stuff. But she has to marry this, this man who is an Ethian, meaning he has like an animal form and so... Uh, <laughs> But he has like no control over his animal form. So during the day, from like the time the sun comes up to the time the sun goes down, he is a horse. And uh, he's only a man at night. And it's quite, it's quite funny. Uh, I, I, I'm just, I'm really loving it. And, <coughs> oh, Xander's awake and choking on water. <coughs> Don't die bad for your health okay well gotta get him changed and stuff for tennis so I will just talk to you later terrible at vlogging this week it's it's been a week it's been a ridiculous week but um I managed to get quite a bit red but I was just so busy and or t and or tired or sore and I just I just couldn't bring myself to vlog but I have tons to tell you about and to show you so on Monday let's see I did do my buzzword for Tiny Dancer, because tiny. Uh, this is a nonfiction graphic novel. It's about a girl who her whole life has been ballet and her goal has been to be part of the, the New York City Ballet and she goes to the American School of Ballet and all of that stuff and like her regular high school kind of curriculum has been like for prof professional students. For professional students so not like regular high school it's super easy uh, but again her focus was ballet and then about part of the way through her high school time she ends up injuring herself and she is able to get back to ballet but she is constantly doubting herself and not feeling strong enough and not good enough and uh, lets the the doubt and the fear kind of overtake her and she stops doing ballet and can't seem to find a path in life after that but then she kind of picks herself up and finds a new path and it's just showing 
yeah, that, that fear and doubt is there that you're never going to be good enough for anything else. And you just have to kind of keep, keep going, keep moving on and, uh, keep trying different things until you find what, what works for you. And, um, I'm going to give this a three and a half star. Okay. Ooh. Next, let's see, on Tuesday, I started reading The Master's Tools Will Never Dismantle the Master's House by Audre Lorde. And like the first section or the first essay is Poetry is Not a Luxury. And I read that and I felt stupid. Um, <laughs> and then I started uh, the next one, which was Uses of the Erotic. And I just, I really, I didn't, I didn't like how this was written. It, it was like super wordy, if that makes any sense. It, it, I think it was written in a way to make you feel stupid while you're trying to read it because it's just <laughs> full of, full of SAT words and stuff like that. It's, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't enjoying it. I had to read everything like two or three times and I was just like, I don't, I don't want to read this. I'm not enjoying it at all. So yeah, DNF that. That was on Tuesday and then Wednesday. Let's see. I think Wednesday, uh, I finished my lady Jane by the lady Janies and I freaking love this. It was so much fun. Uh, I listened to the audiobook and um, this follows Lady Jane Grey. Well, actually, I already told you about this on Monday's clip, but this was just a lot, a lot of fun. And I, I liked uh, where the narrators would interrupt and be like, this is the part where history, it, uh, we skew so far from actual history. <laughs> things like that. It was super cute. It was a lot of fun and I give this one five stars and I, I'm looking forward to reading more. It's funny because I was kind of like meh about reading this but loved it. Uh, let's see. Thursday I think I was working on Lord of Shadows. I have not finished it. I am not caught up. Uh, I'm supposed to be finishing this by tomorrow uh which might happen because i'm listening to listening to the audiobook and i'm about to have a long drive so maybe i can finish this on my way but uh i got to page 253 so i still have all of this left uh but yeah i think maybe i could finish the audiobook while i'm driving today because i got a long drive uh, Marty and I continued a little bit more of Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray. And we are right here. We're on page 331. So still have a good chunk left. But this will have to wait until after um, I get back from my trip next week. Because Marty is not coming with us. It's just going to be me and Xander. Yesterday I started reading All the Rage by Courtney Summers. And I'm only on page 23, like literally just getting started. I guess I should tell you, uh, Lord of Shadows, this is the second book in the Dark Artifices. And not really anything I can tell you about this one at this point. Uh, this is a reread for me. This is also the second book, so I can't say too much. Before the Devil Breaks You, third book in the Diviner series dealing with ghosts and things like that and really enjoying this and then all the rage uh i believe it's about a girl who's gotten raped and then doesn't say anything but then somebody else is in danger and so she says something something like that like i said i'm only 23 pages in so i'm not 100 percent sure uh, i can't even remember the synopsis <sighs> As I said, I'm fixing to go on a trip. Xander's spring break is coming up, or it's next week. So he's essentially on spring break right now. And we are going to my mom's house in Mobile. I'm going to take you along. Uh, but yeah, today is a driving day, pretty much. <laughs> it's also packing day, because I haven't even packed. Uh, so I'm doing that this morning. But yeah. 
uh, before I go, I have, let me make sure I've got addresses covered up. I have two packages here. Uh, we have our Sip Spy box for April, and then I have a book that I pre-ordered. So, let me open up the Sip Spy box first. If you don't know, Sip Spy is a monthly tea subscription box. It's completely customizable to you. It's like $15 a month. You go and you take a quiz on all like the flavor things you like, and then uh, they customize it just for you. And then as you get your teas, uh, when you try them, you rate them, and it kind of helps them to adjust it to make it even more customized to you and more like something you would like. I'm opening this now, too, because I'm taking this to Mobile because my mom and stuff likes tea. Anyway, April Teas. This says, it says made for Melanie. Uh, April is here, Melanie, and with it comes the promise of fresh blooms and longer days, whether you take your tea on the go for a spring stroll or enjoy it cozied up at home. We hope you love your selections this month. And you can get loose leaf tea, you can get tea in individual bags, uh, caffeine free, medium caffeine, high caffeine, whatever. I get kind of a mixture of everything. So here's what it looks like. When you get loose leaf tea, you also get this, which has like little disposable tea bags, which is so handy. Uh, first thing I see here is this Choice Organics White and Green Tea White Elderflower. And these are for like individual tea bags. Let's see. This says... Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is medium caffeine, a floral and de delicate tea with subtle sweet aroma, white tea, jasmine green tea, and beautifully blooming elderflower come together in this harmonious blend. Then we have uh, four of these individual off black generation tea, future is pink, earl gray, and rose black tea. It looks like this. And let's see. This is high caffeine. Futurist Pink is a highly caffeinated Earl Grey tea that naturally sports energy with lemongrass and pink rose petals for an aroma re reminiscent of a stroll through the park. All right. Then we have four individual bags of Puka, Lemon Ginger, and Manuka Honey. And this is organic as well. And they look like so. Uh, this is caffeine free. It says made with organic slow dried lemons and ginger root combined with manuka honey. This herbalist blended tea is made using the highest quality and fairly sourced ingredients. And then the last tea in here is a loose leaf tea and this one is umami gourmet coffee and exotic tea. Black tea. Coconut mocha decadence. Ooh, that sounds good. And this one says contains caffeine. The rich velvety textures of dark and white chocolate flavors dance in unison with creamy coconut creating a delicious heavenly combination. And sorry if I'm a little rushing because uh, I need to uh, hurry up and get everything together so I can, I can get out of here. <laughs> okay, now on to my book that I pre-ordered from Barnes & Noble. And that is She Gets the Girl by Rachel Lippincott and Allison Derrick. And I'm very excited about this. Let's see. This says, Alex Blackwood is a little bit headstrong with a dash of chaos and a whole lot of flirt. She knows how to get the girl. Keeping her on the other hand, not so much. Molly Parker has everything in her life totally in control, except for her complete awkwardness with just about anyone besides her mom. She knows she's in love with the impossibly cool Cora Myers. She just hasn't actually talked to her yet. Alex and Molly don't belong to the same planet, let alone the same college campus. But when Alex, fresh off a bad but hopefully not permanent breakup, discovers Molly's hidden crush as their paths cross the night before classes start, they realize they might have a common interest after all. Because maybe if Alex helps Molly learn how to get her dream girl to fall for her, she can prove to her ex that she's not a selfish flirt. That she's ready for an actual commitment. And while Alex is the last person Molly would ever think she could trust, she can't deny Alex knows what she's doing with girls, unlike her. As the two embark on their five-step plan to get their girls to fall for them, though, they both begin to wonder if maybe they're the ones falling for each other. And this sounds very, very cute. 
I'm excited to have that. Okay, I need to finish getting ready. I, I'm not entirely sure what all books I'm bringing with me. I have a lot that I need to get read. Hold on. So, um, in addition to like buzzword, I'm also working on, oh my goodness, uh, I'm working on Aurelium and I'm doing some extra quests as well because they had ones that anyone could snatch up on Twitter. Uh, so one of them is Scroll of Standstill and it's a five star prediction and, uh, this is a five star prediction because I love everything Cassandra Clare. Uh, new to me author. I think the graphic novel works for that one. And uh, steal a book from someone else's TBR. That might be one I have to wait on until after I get back because, yeah, I don't have time to look at other people's TBRs right now. Okay, <sighs> I'm gonna go get ready and get out of here, and I'll talk to you later. So we made it to Mobile. I am here with my adorable mommy. Say hello, mommy. Hello. And Sanderpuff. And uh, I brought my little paint by number here. So I'm going to like put an earbud in one ear and paint. Nana is working on some crafts. Xander's playing a guitar and we are just kind of chilling. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday I didn't get as much listening done as I would have liked because Xander really wasn't interested in listening to my book. So I only listened to it while he was sleeping. So I'm going to listen to that. I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna do a time lapse of it. Tanner's in the background with his snail head. Yeah. Good morning, my lovelies. <laughs> you see Xander back here. My mom made him this mask with a little horn. He looks like a snail. <laughs> Don't insult me. <laughs> Say hello, mama. Hey. <laughs> so, last night I got to about 77% of Lord of Shadows. And uh, I hopefully maybe gonna finish that today. I don't know, we'll see. But 
I wanted to go ahead and end this vlog because I'm going to start a new one. And the new one is going to have something really cool in it. And I'm so excited. It's what we're on our way to go do right now. Uh, what are you doing, Xander? <laughs> we, uh, we went to the pet store yesterday. And I found something there. And I wrote Marty. And I was like, okay, I know what I want for my birthday this year. <laughs> So we're on our way to go get it and that'll be at my next vlog because I'm so excited and um, Yeah You'll just have to stay tuned for that one But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a big thumbs up If you'd like to see more videos like this click that subscribe button down below and until next time Remember to always be completely you Bye